live. Okay, hello. Hey, this is Ian Carlin. I am talking to you from my studio here. Uh, not much of a studio, but uh, just doing a little vlogging um, from the Empty Cup podcast and the Ronan JKD channel. And let's see, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about an insight I had on my own personal development when it came to Brazilian, when it came to jujitsu. I uh, had an awesome chance to study, uh, do a seminar with Ricky Lundell, uh, who came up to our school. And uh, it was just an awesome time. He ran a, about a two hour seminar and uh, got m some major insights uh on my on on my game as a result of it and just was working with people and stuff like that and and it occurred to me that i need to uh have a little bit of a different mindset when it comes to jujitsu so here's the issue okay so the issue is that um that my jujitsu game is just barely starting to be shaped. Okay, I'm a blue belt, and just barely a blue belt. Blue belt now for maybe a few months uh, right now. Um, and you know, and to me, what blue belt means is that I have mastered, not mastered, but I have learned a certain amount of techniques. Okay. Uh, I know what an arm bar is. I know what a triangle is. I know there's just like a certain lump of techniques that you kind of learn and you kind of have to be able to do uh, on a on a consistent basis in order to get to your in order to get blue belt. So these are kind of like your words. You know, if you're if you're liking it to uh, learning a language, it's kind of like your words. But right now. I'm kind of learning how to string my words together in sentences to create dialogue. That's how I feel about what jujitsu is. And it, this is this is something that can be applied to all kinds of different martial arts. It's a perspective that I've carried with me over from Wing Chun and Jeet Kune Do. You know, if you look at Jeet Kune Do or Wing Chun, the beginner section is really you're just building your vocabulary. You're just learning your words. The middle section is, is you're just starting to learn like a little bit of dialogue, some sentence structure, some things like that. And uh, you're learning how to dialogue. You're learning how to do it. You're not proficient at it yet, but you're learning how to dialogue. And so it's the same with jujitsu. I'm learning how to dialogue. But as I'm learning how to dialogue, it's occurring to me what kind of uh, what kind of orator, to so to speak, that I'm becoming. And um, I'm realizing that I'm very I'm a very defensive player. I'm very much see what the other person is going to do and then get out of it and try to get out of it. And I don't go for a lot of submissions. And there's a couple and and, and I thought about this and there's a couple reasons why uh, why this is happening, okay? I believe why this is happening. And the main reason why I believe this is happening is because um, is is due to the fact that a lot of even what I'm learning right now, my philosophy has been built by previous systems, and the belief that I've had in those previous systems about ground fighting, okay, are about grappling. And the beliefs that I've had about those pre about because of my previous systems about ground fighting is that of a last resort. You don't necessarily, you don't necessarily, you know, do it. It's something that if you have to do it, then you then you do it. Um, so, you know, my main system is, you know, I'm going to stand up, I'm going to be a striker, a kicker, a, a tr you know, get into trapping range. And, uh, and um, then if I, if I get taken to the ground, then of course I need to know what I'm doing. And so I need to learn the best of what I'm doing. So I do jujitsu and that shaped me. And as a result, what I'm noticing is that I'm very defensive. I'm not sitting there trying to get a triangle on somebody or an arm bar on somebody or a Kimura or whatever submission that there is. Um, and, and 
And the reason why, and not, not to say that I don't do that. I do get, you know, I do win sometimes, but I'm just trying to like fend the person off for the most part. I'm just like, I, I, I've noticed that that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and so, and the reason why is, is due to the fact that as a result of all this training and believing that you don't, you don't go to the ground, uh, then, you know, everything I do on the ground is basically designed to get up. And of course, I think that there is some truth to that, but there's also some things to that that's not true. You know, if you, I don't always want to go to the ground. Um, people talk a lot about, you know, it's hot outside. You know, I live in a place where it's just very, very hot. And that it's, you know, would you really want to go to the ground in the, on the blacktop in the middle of summer? And what about weapons and things like that? Uh, and, and so that idea and those things are, are certainly, you know, worth thinking about and worth thinking about as far as how to construct your ground game. You know, multiple opponents, all the stuff you hear. However, I'm, I'm changing my, my shift here, a shift in perspective, because I'm thinking, okay, but what's the best defense? And everybody knows what the best defense is, is a good offense. That's your best defense. Your best defense is a good offense. So, I am going to now, instead of being a, instead of being somebody who continually looks for, um, looks for something, you know, like how to get out of this, how to, de how to defend against an arm lock, how to defend against neon belly, how to defend against uh, um, a triangle. I am actually going to consciously now start. Um, doing things that are more aggressive, not more aggressive and like, Oh, I want to, you know, tear the person's head off, but I'm actually going to start doing the, okay, I I'm going to start looking for the arm bar instead of just defending the arm bar. I'm going to start looking for the arm bar. I'm going to start looking for the triangle. I'm going to start looking for the Kimura, the Americana, the heel hook, all that kind of stuff. So good at the ground, then I got to be a good ground grappler i got to be good at the ground and being good at the ground means more than just knowing a bunch of escapes and not getting into any bad positions so that's what i'm gonna try to study next that's kind of going to be a little bit of a focus in my uh in in my development as far as my personality on this language of jujitsu that i'm just starting to learn and just starting to develop my own personal dialogue so anyway, that's that's what I'm doing now, and um, uh, I will keep I will keep you apprised of 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 uh, my progress. So thanks for watching this, and I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna close this one out first, and oh, don't forget to listen to the Empty Cup podcast. Uh, and if you would not mind, please go to iTunes and give us a review that helps people find the show. I would love to get on new and noteworthy. That would be awesome. Uh, and go to my YouTube channel, Ronan JKD. That's where I do like a lot of vlogging like I'm doing right now. I I'm actually vlog I'm vlogging and just kind of sharing some ideas that don't quite make it onto the program or may only make, may make like a slight appearance on the program. So that's why I vlog. And I also have training videos at Ronan JKD as well. So please, please go to Ronan JKD and subscribe and please go to the empty cup podcast on Stitcher on, um, you know, wherever you listen to podcasts and, iTunes and subscribe and leave a review. Thanks a lot. We'll talk again soon.